All right, so we're gonna keep practicing derivatives and now we're gonna focus on the product rule. And here's the product rule. Derivative of f times g is equal to f prime g plus f g prime. I often write it the same as I do the top of the quotient rule. I learned it this way, which is f prime g plus g prime f. Doesn't matter, whatever works for you memorization wise. So I'm going to apply that rule, and often it goes with trig. So this is why it follows the trig rule, because when I go to the next page, the first derivative really doesn't make any sense to do with the quote product rule, but we're going to do it that way, which is x cubed x7. At this point, watching this video, I hope you can see that in your head that x10, and the derivative is f prime equals 10x9. All right, but I'm going to do it with the product rule. So I immediately know, again, the product rule, to rewrite it. I'll write the way I'm used to, which is f prime g plus g prime f. All right, so I have to define f and g. So I'll make f x cubed, and I'll make g x7. And I can quickly do those derivatives. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of x to the 7 is 7x6. And I will now give myself just a little bit of room this time. We're going to leave that last one now. We're only going to do 5 today. And I'll write f prime of x equals, well, f prime, 3x squared, times g, which is x7, plus x cubed, which is f, and then 7x6, which is g prime. When I do some simplification, I get 3x9 plus 7x9. Oh, look, add together, like terms, 10x to the 9th is f prime. Never do this. This shows that it works. Make that x to the tenth and just go from here to here using the power rule. But the next four can't be done without the quotient rule or the uh, product rule. So we'll move on down the page here. We'll start with x squared sine x. And again, if I bring down the, maybe I'll get the quote power product rule right where you can see it. And again, I think it's important. Maybe you memorize it, but you practice it so you can use it. And I always remember it as when I'm in use of practice, I actually do it this way. When I'm using it without picking F and G, I do it this way. So, G of X prime equals, all right, derivative F prime. So I'll make the first thing F this. Derivative of X squared is simply 2X times what the other thing is, sine X plus. All right, I did the derivative of, of x squared, so it's right x squared. Now i got to do the derivative of sine x, which is simply cos x. And everybody, I'm done. That's the derivative. That is the product rule. If you want to see f and g and f prime g prime, they're right here. f is x squared, f prime is 2x, g is sine x, g prime is cosine x. It is that quick. All right, on h of x. Some students would look at this and say, oh, i got to do the quotient rule. And I would say, ugh, I don't want to have to do the quotient rule. So my first step, since it's a single term, is recognize that we can bring that up and do this. And again, I will immediately take the derivative. Derivative of x to negative 2 is negative 2x negative 3 times sine x plus And again, my... I did x, the derivative of x negative 2, so I just write that. The derivative of sine x is simply cosine x. And again, if you want to see the derivatives, they're right there. There's h prime. It is that quick. Last couple here. Again, g of x equals cosine sine cosine x. And again, I am thinking derivative this way. My board's got a dead spot there. I just have to have fg. I am thinking f prime g plus f g prime. I see cosine x as my f. I see sine x as my g because I keep the order. So when I do g prime x, the derivative of, of cosine is negative sine. Then I write that I did cosine. The derivative of cosine is, or sine is, cosine. All right. And again, if you have to see these, they're right here. Okay. 
something smaller and get them up here so you can just blow up on your YouTube video to see it if you have to. But we really don't need that. And now, this would be one of um, my tests I would actually simplify. And then don't make the mistake of thinking this is anything more than this. Alright? I know sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, but this is not that. It has a different sign there. Alright, last one. And again, I'm thinking about Q prime immediately, product rule. I see two things. So I do the derivative of the first thing, which is 3x squared. Some students I know do this. And then I said, oh, I did it of that. I write this, the second thing, and then I take the derivative of that, which is derivative of the cosecant is, is negative cosecant x to the tangent x. And again, if you want to see the ticks, they're right here, all right, for f and g. But there we are. And one of the things that students sometimes do is they forget to put parentheses here, and then this is three terms, guys. That is not the derivative, all right? And again, I might ask students to simplify this one because I want to make sure that they saw that the sign goes in here. And again, I've seen multiple choice tests. I don't like them because there's really no, nothing really here to prove, but I've seen multiple choice tests that will do things like this. have to recognize those derivatives as being the same. Again, product rule comes with practice. It's simply making examples and grinding them out a little bit. Get used to it. You have to be able to do it on command. Man.